This is Lisa from LisaAndTheBeanstalk.com. In this episode, I'm going to take you on a tour of my greenhouse and show you some things that's growing right now. Let's go. All right, so this is the inside of my greenhouse. And I wanted to show you some things I'm growing, some things that I am having to climb. All right, so because it's a small greenhouse, <clears throat> this is a six by eight. I decided this year to grow just a variety of things indoors. Um, I have a couple of pots. These are um, some herbs I'm growing. Um, this is watercress and oregano and I just put it those put those in a pot uh, let's see this is a bay leaf plant it's going to get really tall so I'm just starting it off in a container I have some chives and this plant here is a cucumber plant and what I really really like about this plant um, I wanted you to see they have these little tentacles I guess that's what you call them and they wrap themselves around a uh, string a pole whatever it is uh, they're nearby they will wrap their little selves right around uh, a string or so and climb up and that's what you want your cucumber plant to do if you don't have a lot of space um, I also have some rosemary I have another cucumber there and I have tomato plant and I wanted to show you I actually have some tomatoes indoors and some are hiding in there as well and they are just doing really really great there are more flowers and um, this is a bush variety by the way um, it's made specifically for small spaces or container as you see that this one is in a container so it's perfect for the greenhouse um, at least in my greenhouse because it's not a big one but I still get to grow things that I like to eat all right and let's see over here so this plant here this tall one this is a uh, stevia it's a plant that tastes very sweet it actually tastes just like sugar so I am growing that plant. I have some lavender and some sage in here. And um, and I have more chives over there. And er again, everything in my greenhouse are in containers. So you can just see some things you can grow in your containers as well. If you have a patio or if you live in an apartment or if you just don't have a lot of space. All right, and in this container, I have some fennel and parsley. And this is my baby. So this is my um, cucumber plant. I have another cucumber plant. And I am letting my plants just climb up. And it saves me a ton of space. And I want to show you how big this thing is. It's going out the window. <laughs> so I'm going to tie some string across. And um, because I don't want it to go out the window and I don't want bugs attaching themselves to my plant coming indoors. So I just wanted to show you that and it's blooming. See my little flower. So I'm excited about that. And um, all right, I'm squeezing through. All right, let's see what else I have. Oh, these are um, this plant here. This is my string bean plant. All right, so you can get string beans. Um, you can get them in a bush variety as well. Again, they're perfect for containers because they don't grow as tall or climby like uh, your pole beans or your runner beans. So you can grow those in containers as well. These are my string beans, and as you can see, they are blooming and let's see what else 
and I have this plant here this is just a beautiful plant it is an eggplant and yes I am growing that in a container the flowers I want you to see the flower they're absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait for this thing to set fruit I am so excited I've just been coming in checking every day just to see if my eggplants are going to start um, if I'm going to be able to see some here on this particular plant and um, and that's what I wanted to show you I have a few more um, strawberries and tomato plants and things but um yeah you can grow anything with the right amount of sunlight in containers in small spaces so don't be discouraged if you don't have a backyard or a front yard or if you don't have any land that you can utilize to grow in the ground if you have enough sunlight you can use containers like I am doing in my greenhouse and you can plant just a lot of stuff all right so let me give you one last view of my baby my greenhouse um, all right and you see my fly tape here I just want to quickly mention that um, because I am growing organically I am an organic grower I do not believe in spraying chemicals on my plants so I try to use anything that will catch the little bugs <laughs> So the fly tape works. Um, so I have them hanging in my greenhouse. And let me zoom in. I have them back here as well. And you'll see that they are covered with bugs. And also, I wanted to show you where else I have some fly tape. I have it outside my greenhouse as well. So I'm going to quickly show you this. All right, here it is, fly tape, and it is covered, and I mean literally covered in insects with just bugs. All right, so that is the inside of my greenhouse, the outside with my nasty fly tape hanging around. This is Lisa from LisaAndTheBeanStalk.com. Thanks for watching.